doing a phenomenal job in their kitchen over there. People in that area. Go go and stay back there. Make sure you're getting those angles. Take a deep breath. Right now it's about catching your breath, getting your knees back here. Yeah. Okay, so this highlight kind of sums up that first round. Just a back and forth exchange between the pair of them. A very close round, tremendous amounts of action. And here we go for round two. I mean, look at that. Back and forth they go. And as mentioned, Yair Rodriguez was the busier fighter. He attempted 97 total strikes to Yair in that first five minutes, landing 59. Max Holloway off his pace against Calvin Cater. Said he wanted to stay busy, don't stop. Top that last performance. It's the first time since he fought Volkanovski, the first time that he didn't win that first round. Well, the calf kicks, as we said in round one, they're going to start piling up, and Yair's going straight back to that well at the start of round two. And what that does is it opens up other attacks, because then you start to obsess over that lead leg, taking calf kicks, and then it'll, the kick comes upstairs. That was a nice job. Oh. Yair trying to get creative with the elbows. Yeah, faking that up elbow that he landed against Zombie. Look at the swelling redness on the right side of the abdomen of Holloway as well. Oh, kind wow, of see yeah. it on the profile shot there as he stands there. And Max keeps switching stances. Oh, right on those lower ribs. That's a couple of nice jobs. Yeah, beautiful job. Max still pressing forward. Check hook there from Rodriguez. Yeah, you know, Yayus having a great second round so far. He had a great first round as well. You know, and, and, and I think Max is like, hold on a minute. I'm going to pull for this. All the way's on him now. Gotta be careful he doesn't chase him though. Just like yeah, that's zombie. when you get in trouble with somebody like Rodriguez. Yeah, because you run onto something you can, see, you can tell he's already setting it up. The way he's angling off that he could spin off of that as well. Jack gets through for Holloway. Back in the orthodox stance. That left leg is the one that's Oy, the, 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 out. the speed of that kick. I mean, that was frightening. Now listen, Yair is coming out hot in this fight. First round, second round, big volume. We know Max can keep that pace. We've seen him do it before. Can Rodriguez sustain this type of pace throughout five rounds? Because Max isn't going anywhere easy, I can tell you that. Yes, He's moving forward, pressuring as well. Certainly after two years off, Paul. I mean, there's no reason to think that he can't because this is a huge opportunity for him. You're going up against Max Holloway, one of the biggest names in the sport. Massive ramifications if you get the win. So one would think that he's prepared accordingly and pushed himself to the limit and got five rounds of training camp many times. Oh. However, however, when you're taking these kind of blows and you're trying to knock your opponent out with every shot, which you're probably not doing in training camp, he's still going to be there with the same intensity around four. Because yeah. right now, he's fighting hard. Really hard and crushing that cap. But Max eating them right now. I'm sure they're affecting him, but he's not showing it. Moving forward, landing his own combinations. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's he's there. There. Now he's back in orthodox and he's getting busier. A little more urgency from the former champion. That left leg is really starting to swell on Holloway. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, Max crashes in. Teddy Atlas watching along. He's the same thing. Leg damage starting to add up. Yeah, and another he's, one. He's been consistent with it too. He's got to just be a little bit careful though because he's getting hungry for it. He knows it's hurting Max and he's going to the well a bit. He's just got to be well, careful of the counter. Look at the earlier fight with Miguel Baeza and Chaos Williams. Oh, 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 oh. Up elbow snuck in there from Rodriguez along the fence. But this is where Max needs it. He's going to back him up against the fence, but he's going to control the range and control the lack of movement of Yair. And once he gets him here, he's going to capitalize. So far, he's not. Yair's going side to side. He's finding openings. He's using unorthodox techniques, and he's finding the mark. One minute to go, round two. Holloway. Applying more pressure as Rodriguez escapes to the right. 
Another catch too, but good body shot return there from Holloway. That's nice, but look at that movement, the elusive movement of Yair Rodriguez. It's really nice. Back soft, pivots off the fence, fires a shot. That's nice. I'm going to lock him down. Finally, oh, that nice body shot. Yeah. We're going to grapple in here from Holloway. Couldn't tell if that's he hurt Rodriguez or not. But this is the type of pace that Holloway has got to keep on Rodriguez. Keep him up against the fence. Don't give him any space. Oh, there it is. Rodriguez to his back in the final seconds. Holloway goes for a big one. There's the horn. Big response from Holloway who closed the distance on striking numbers after 10 minutes. Three, three. Starting to wilt, huh? See, I know sometimes you're dinging them and, 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 and uh, you feel like you're hurting them and whatnot. Let's pull back on a little bit. Let's go 50 70 on the pot. More volume. Okay? When he goes up, starts bobbing and whatnot. Just make sure you're, you're, you're squirting. Okay, let's take a look. This is one of the kicks that really did some damage to that calf. Followed up by a nice body shot from Holloway, but Yair really invested in that calf kick. Max still keeping the volume with the hands going, attacking the body, with the body and pressuring forward, more importantly. Even though it seems to be hurting him those legs, Max is never... And there's another sneaky up elbow there from Rodriguez. My goodness. What a first two rounds. Holloway's corner believes they have the fresher fighter. Said Rodriguez is starting to wilt. Yeah, they said that straight away at the start of the break. I'm not sure if I'm yeah, seeing we'll Rodriguez see. wilt, to be honest. And Rodriguez still trying to find that target in the left half of Holloway. Now he operates out of the southpaw stance. Switches here. <laughs> Beautiful work, backs him up against the fence, jumps in the air, flying knee connects. So this is good for Max, oh, yeah. that's what he's got to do. Take away the long range attacks, take away the real estate behind it so he can't be controlled against the fence and do damage there. But well, Rodriguez still crushing that leg, moving forward himself. These guys are going for it. What a fight. Yeah, look at the snap of Rodriguez now. Nice and all the way. Oh. Jab finding a hole. Faints the takedown as Holloway. It's a few I don't times know. now Max has had to do that. I don't know if that was a fake, but then, you know, I, I think I, that was an attempt. I, yeah, it was an attempt, and it's a sign that. Oh, oh, oh look at that. Caught him off guard. A little jab, I think he was, but. Oh, 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 Max looking for the arm triangle. I mean, that's what I'm Yay! Three and a half to go. Plenty of time on the ground. Yair needs to be very careful. Nicely gone. He was very low with his surroundings to the right thing. That was going to use the feet to push off the fence to reverse position. But Max is going to the table. This is a bad spot. Max in a great position here to really go to work here on Rodriguez. High mount for the former champ. And Max is patient. He's going to wait. Turns his back. Gets both hips in. He's going to try to flatten him out here. Yeah, he goes back to his back. Wise move. Trying to keep two on. Heavy shot there. Right on the jaw. Slicing elbow. He's thinking about that head and arm shot. He's trying to soften him up with shots. Create the opportunity. Yeah, this is this is trouble for Rodriguez Max. Just riding him here, going from the back to mount seamlessly. Long time left in this third round as well. Rodriguez puts the right hand up to guard. Max has to. Max is going to be careful though. He's coming a little high. 
He can fall off the top. There it is. That's better. He adjusted his position now. These are good shots, and he's taking his time. He's controlling the position. He's got oh, yeah, he was almost out. There it is. Max has got a great guillotine from this position. Holloway has not had a submission victory since 2015 when he tapped out Cub Swanson. Tries to swing to the back, not all the way there. Rodriguez surviving with 145 to go. Potential 10-8 round in the making. Rodriguez back to his feet. After taking a lot of downings there. Oh, oh. oh. my left. Oh, my Rodriguez God. Team attack. Oh, now watch his neck. Take down for Rodriguez, who now goes to work on top. Oh, what a nice. fight, man. Oh, incredible. Big knee. without somebody going down because it's going to happen soon. The punishment they are putting on one another is incredible. Nice, nice. Nice timing from Holloway there. Very nice. And a nice explosion. He knew that kick was coming. You saw it. As soon as he even picked up his foot off the mat, Holloway was in on that takedown. Side control with Rodriguez on his left side, awkwardly against the fence. Max slides at knee to the body there with under 30 seconds to go at round number three. Max is trying to drop elbows with that right hand. Yair knows he's controlling the wrist. Now it's free. Now he can go to work for the last 10 seconds. And both eyes of right. Yair Rodriguez now are becoming a swollen mess, unfortunately, here for him in the third round. A lot of that due to the ground and pound when Max was in that mount position. Big round for Blessed in round three. If that's a 10-8, that could really turn the tide. I don't know about a 10-8, I'm honest. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, guys. I mean, look at this beautiful flight, and he lands right in the sternum. Just an incredible round, chipping away with the calf kicks, but he slips on that one, he goes down. And that was the start of a big momentum shift for Max all the way here. He gets back up, lands a right left there, that finds the jaw, and just firing back both of them. Incredible will to win for both men. Sensational round. There's a big explosive power double, drives right through him, forces him to the canvas, and finishes the round on top. We enter the main event rounds. Significant strikes round by rounds. As mentioned, the response in round two and further increasing his lead in round three. And Holloway is known to get better as the fight continues. Start of round four. As I say, a big momentum shift in round three there. But it's a new round. 60 seconds of rest. Oh, Max is trying to take him down. Trying to go straight back to that well. Pretty gnarly cut you saw in the corner. Yair Rodriguez, big shots from Holloway. I'll tell you what, Yair yeah, really talked about wanting to finish this fight. And you can tell, I mean, that's his only goal. He's doing everything with fight-ending intentions, but Max is just so damn durable, so consistent with his performances, moving forward, landing shots, and finding a way into the fight no matter how hurt he gets. Yeah, and that's the key, no matter how hurt he gets, because he's been hurt on multiple occasions, but he's not backed off, he's not danced around, he's not tried to take a few seconds to gather his thoughts. He's just gone straight back in every time. Holloway pressure on again, closing the distance, Rodriguez covered up along the fence. This is where Max is taking knee. over against the fence, looking for that jump. Oh, wow, standing oh, oh, oh. for his time right now. Down the kick tie. Holloway, Holloway, let's go. Oh, Rodriguez nice. scrambling. Nice guard work by Rodriguez. 
Ash getting to show off his grappling tonight. This isn't something we get to see too often, but you see how well-rounded he really is. If he's forced to have to take you down, use his jiu-jitsu, he's just as good there. Great ground and pound, using his elbows, oh, really trying to inflict damage. Rodriguez still dangerous off of his back, though. Yeah, a lot of the times when we see Max Holloway, like the two fights with Jose Aldo, they, they finish on the ground because he beats them up and he beats them down, literally to the ground. And then from there, you see some glimpses of the ground and pound of the ground game that he has. And that's exactly what we're seeing here. Rodriguez trying to lock up that heel of Holloway. Tough to do it at this point in the fight. Well, I mean, this is a bad position for Rodriguez here. He's got his back to Holloway. Holloway's in full control here. He's just going to try and get a little separation. Oh. Nice guard work. Good rotation by Rodriguez. Max controls the legs. Watch the up kicks. Passes the guard like butter. And he's almost in full mount. Once he gets that foot over. Pick the shots, Holloway. pick your shots. And he's clearly doing that. I mean, there on that. And you can hear the thud. You can hear the sickening thud of when he connects. Rodriguez gives up the back now. Almost two minutes to work on the ground for Holloway. Rodriguez once again back to his feet. You can't question the toughness. No, you cannot, of both men. But it's amazing to see Max getting off to, you know, what was a somewhat shaky start to show what he is made of. You know, to take some of the shots that he did and now to turn the tide. The momentum shift in rounds three and four is incredible. Turn your back. Was that an eye poke? There. Holloway seemed to acknowledge it as soon as he threw it. Yeah. See if we can get a replay to the left eye of Rodriguez. You see the damage. Oh, yeah. Uh, the thumb. That was an accident. That's a with the fist. The, the fist. The of the thumb. Yeah. Stop him. Look at me. You. See me all right? Let's just check. All right? Let's just check. <clears throat> Ringside position. Well, perhaps some useful rest time for Rodriguez. Okay, guys, we're timing. Let's go. Max Holloway's landed more than 200 total strikes. Oh. Final minute round of the four. Oh. Flying for Rodriguez. Oh. Still big kicks coming in the fourth round from Yair. Even after being taken down and held down and grounded on the ground, you know, getting control for quite a bit of time. He's still coming up. Showing that endurance, showing that heart. Both these guys really laying it on the line tonight. Yeah, listen, this is an absolute war. You know, this is going to have a lasting effect on both of them in years. Spin from Max. Rodriguez dodges the heavy damage. Final 10. Good clock. Another flying knee from Rodriguez. Some big shots in an uppercut. We head to the fifth and final rounds between these featherweights. All right, we gotta finish this guy, yeah, yeah. We gotta finish him. Let's get. I don't know what the docs. Let's get off the game plan and let's go for it. Whatever it takes, yeah, yeah. Let's create some sort of movement and we get you into, this, in, into any corner position where you can take advantage of him. It doesn't matter what you do right now. You're going to just attack this guy for the next five minutes, brother. Yeah. 
Okay? And think phase one out, okay? Yes, sir. Yeah. Don't, don't have to go phase one finish. Phase one out. Yes, sir. Let's do this. One more. Super focus. Okay? Let's go. Don't, just, don't give this guy an inch. You heard the corner instructions, Paul, from Yayo Rodriguez. I love that. You need a finish, but not only that, abandon the game plan. Get creative. Go nuts. You could argue that's when Yayo's at his best. Yeah, absolutely. We saw it in the zombie fight. It's just you get pressured forward, you throw up crazy elbows like he does, or flying knees, or kicks. Yeah. I think at this point, the calf kick, forget it. You got to move past that. Well, at this moment as well, with a guy like Max Holloway, as good as he is, you can't have a set game plan. Right now, it's fight on instinct. Look at what Max is giving you. Fight back with just pure heart, instinct, ability, and just go for it. You know, because I agree with the corner. Max is ahead. If he doesn't get a finish this round, Max wins this fight. A classic that it is, of course. But yeah, still, still a clear win for, for yeah. Holloway. I yeah, well, think it's 3-1 Holloway, but Yair Rodriguez, he's going for it. Still throwing with power here in the fifth and final round, and after two years away, what a return for Yair Rodriguez to the octagon. And it was the opposite in the corner of Yair, I mean, excuse me, of Max Holloway, where they're saying he's going to come out, he's going to be dangerous. Stick, stick to the game, be super, super focused is what they want from Holloway. I mean, look at this, though, look at the pressure from Max. Knocks up punches, follows him with the knee. Significant strikes over 200 now for Holloway, as we just showed you. And Rodriguez, oh, an 80, and how about an elbow with a back fist on the way out? Man, the chin on Holloway is incredible. Uh, it's both crazy. guys, really. Yeah, both guys, but Max is taking some shots tonight and has not looked phased at all. Not just most forward business as usual. Yeah, that, that's what we signed up for. It is what it is, as Max would say. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't like trouble. his body language from the eye here. We've seen this before. He's been in the fifth round. He's got to one second until I count him out, that's for sure. Or no seconds, I should say. Also, oh, nice. Nice. Created combination there. We have seen Yair kind of abandon that calf kick on the left side of Holloway. Thank you. The damage was starting to yeah, in those early rounds. Because that was at the start of the fight, he was able to stand some ground and he had the ability in the space to land the calf kick. When you're getting beaten up against the fence, when you're getting pounded on the ground, you haven't really got the ability to land calf kick. Oh! Yeah, pure sacrifice technique there. I mean, it's great if it lands, but if you don't, you sacrifice a position. And that's not what you want to do in the fifth round. He's got that far side on the hook. He can really hold on to Yair here. He's in that half guard. Look at Rodriguez. Guillotine attempt. If nothing else, just to improve position. Nice job by Rodriguez. Two minutes to go. Max on the arm. Yair stays on top. Looking for the neck. Max fighting the hands well. Scooting to the fence. This is smart for Holloway. Nice work. Wrist control there from, from Max to get back up to his feet. Man, this is a super exciting competitive fight between these guys. Look for the Spinning elbow oh, for Rodriguez. How does Holloway just eat these shots? Keep going. Yeah, and a nice knee to the liver as well. Oh, that's, I think that's a cut above the right eye of Holloway that's leaking pretty bad. I see it here. He's got the guard up. Oh, my God. Combination for Rodriguez. Yair Rodriguez owns the latest finish in UFC history at 459, round 5. Came against the Korean Zombie in late 2018. Does he have another rabbit to pull out of the hat? He's hot and ready. Come on, come on, come on. Time. No, 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 no. We're not going to go. We're going to take our time. You've got folks in the air, okay? Yeah. No cornering. No cornering. Stay right there, my friend. Smack a lock. Look at me. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, yeah. finger of Rodriguez connects. Turn around, yeah, yeah. 
Good match. Let's go. Yeah, I was going to say, Yair has an opportunity. They have 50 seconds. They're in the open. I mean, to land something crazy. That Hell Mary, that come from behind victory. But we've seen it before. Max has relented the pressure a little bit. Nice elbow from the Yair. Solid job. I mean, Yair knows he's got to get a finish here. 30 seconds. Clinch in the center. Attempt at a trip takedown for Rodriguez. And Max defending oh, well. Oh, Ben, spin kick for Rodriguez. And now they clinch once again. Time's running out. The spinning kick is close. Final 10 seconds. This featherweight bout lived up to it and then some. You knew it was going to be good. Two warriors. Max Holloway and Yair Rodriguez go the distance to a crowd that has rose to its collective feet inside the UFC apex. Everybody is on their feet. I mean, what an incredible fight, a display of martial arts, hearts, real, I mean, the damage that both people took. I'm blown away. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, like you said, Michael, too, from both guys. I mean, Yair was in this fight the whole time, fighting for a finish. Max just took over, used his grappling, used his experience. I took some damage, man. He was in a fight. Yeah, rounds one, two, and five were pretty close. Three and four, Max took over, got some ground damage here. And then we see them just trading calf kicks at the start of the fight. Some body shots from Max. I mean, we saw almost every type of strike thrown. Elbows, spinning kicks, of course, the boxing. Fundamentals were on display as well. Elbow here from Yair that found the mark. Flying knee to the sternum. Yeah, he comes back with the right oh, left. Oh, it's just nice. back and forth, man. What else is there to say? I mean, this is a, this is a good what I was going to say, not only every type of strike, we saw submission attempts, we saw takedowns yeah. from Holloway, Dude, career best. Probably, His previous was two, what, they gave him three. Yeah. This was great for Max. I mean, he really, really got pushed, had to dig deep, got cut, you know, really bloodied up, flying knees, up elbows. Submission attempts, both these guys laid it all on the line here in this fight. I mean, they should both be proud of their performances this evening, this afternoon. And you said Max was in a fight. I'm trying to think of the last time Max has shown this much damage after a fight, right? Usually he's so clean and crisp on the striking numbers. He was that today as well, but he's got some battle scars after this one. Ground control time, more than five minutes. You can see the significant head strikes in favor of Holloway. And those leg kicks were starting to add up for Rodriguez early in the fight. Certainly. Keep your eye on Yair Rodriguez and what a way to return to action after two years away. Max Holloway and Yair Rodriguez go the distance. All that's left today is the official decision with Joe Martinez. Well, ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards. Here are the totals. 49-46, 48-47, and 48-47. All for your winner by unanimous decision, Max Ball! Hey, hey, UFC told me I could wave my ass, but get guys like Gaia, that's why people are scared to fight because this guy's a dangerous man. If you want to beat the best, you got to be the best. And the best is blessed, baby. All love to you here. This guy's a beast. Viva Mexico! Listen, you are the victor, you are the winner. Max, that was a sensational fight back and forth. Of course, one of the toughest fights, I would say. How are you feeling right now? I feel great. Uh, I couldn't talk to you. I was going to say I'm one of the best grapplers, but then I ended up getting reversed from him, so I don't oh, think so I could get that. Well, listen, I talked to you at the beginning. You seem to be troubling you.